Chapter 1 City Life 1. Making Telephone Calls Dialogue 1 Hello, good morning. Who is that speaking? It's Jane. I'm so sorry that I made such an early phone call. It's nothing. Who do you wish to talk to? Is Sue in? Sue? Jane wants you on the phone. Hello, is Sue there? Yes, speaking. Oh, sorry, I'm afraid I won't attend the meeting this morning. Last night I had a sore throat and I started getting hot. Don't worry about the meeting. You'd better go to see a doctor. I wish you will be well soon. Thank you, Sue. Bye. Dialogue 2 Can I talk to Mark? Hang on, okay? Let me see if he's here. Sorry, he's not available right now. Do you have any idea where he is? Sorry, I don't know. Do you know when he will be back? He should be back in 30 minutes. Can I leave a message? Of course. Hold on for just a second so I can grab the pen and paper. When he comes back, can you have him call me at 206-555-1212? Can you repeat again, please? 206-555-1212. I'll have him call you as soon as he's back. 2. In the Post Office Dialogue 1 Good afternoon, madam. What can I do for you? Yes, I want to buy some postcards. Do you know where I can get them? Yes, you can buy them here. We have three kinds of postcards. One dollar, two dollars, and five dollars. Which one do you want? Oh, can I have a look at them? Yes, please. Hmm, I want this card. Is it two dollars each? Yes, how many do you want? Three. This is ten dollars here. Here's your change. Thank you. One more question. I can send my postcards from this post office, right? Yes, madam. Our office hour is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Okay, thank you very much. You are welcome. Dialogue 2 Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Yes. I want to send this package to Beijing. Which window should I go to? Go to the window marked Parcel Post. Thanks. I want to send this package Parcel Post, registered. What does it contain? There are three books. Do you want it insured? Yes, please. For thirty dollars. That will be sixty cents. Here are your stamps. Thanks. Wait a second, sir. Yes? You forgot to put the return address on the package. Oh, sorry. I'll put it on right now. Now, here is your receipt. Three. In the bank. Dialogue 1 Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Yes. I'd like to withdraw some money from this account. Okay. How much do you want? Five hundred dollars. Can you fill out this form, please? You need to write down your name, your account number, how much money you want. Sure. Hold on for a moment. Here you are. Thanks. Sir, please enter your password over that machine. Okay. I'm sorry, sir, but your password is wrong. Really? Can I try it again? How about this time? It's correct now. Here's your receipt. Please sign at the bottom of it. Okay, here you are. Here are $500 and your account. Please press the button to give a score for my service. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, sir. Yes, may I help you? 
I'd like you to cash this check for $100, please. Do you have an account with us? No, actually, I'd like to open an account right now. What kind of account would you like to open? A checking account. Please fill in these forms. Can I have your ID card to make a copy? Yes, sure. Here you are. Thanks. Please finish these forms. I'll be right back. Thank you. Did you finish the forms? May I have them back? Yes, here you are. Now, how would you like this check cashed, ma'am? Ten tens will be fine. Here you are. Four. Taking the bus. Dialogue one. Excuse me, does this bus go to the newly built cinema? No, you'll have to get off at the bookstore and take number 39. Thank you. How much is the fare to that stop? One dollar. How many stops are there? Three stops, including this one. That's not too bad. By the way, do I need a transfer again after number 39? No, a number 39 will take you right there. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, I've been waiting here for 15 minutes. Do you know how often number 9 runs? Oh, it runs every 20 minutes. You must have missed one when you came here. It would be here any minute now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Do you mind if I ask you where you are going? I'm going to the hospital. Okay. Actually, you can take both number 9 and number 12 to the hospital. Really? That sounds great. By the way, do you know where I can find a bus schedule? You can go to the transportation department to get yourself a bus schedule and a bus routine map. It's just around the corner. I see. Thank you very much. Five. Taking the subway. Dialogue one. Can I have two tickets? To which station? Oh, we are going to the art gallery. Which subway should we take? Take the line five and transfer to line one at the central bank. Okay, how many stops in total? Ten stops. This is the subway map. You can keep it in case of getting lost. Thank you. How much are the tickets? Two dollars each. Here you are. Here are your tokens. Have a good day. Dialogue 2 Excuse me. Can you tell me how I can get a subway ticket? Go to the auto machine over there. I'm a newcomer here. Can you show me how to use it? Sure. You need two one-dollar coins. Put them in the slot and click one ticket button on the screen. It's very easy. Okay. But I don't have any coins. Where can I get some? You can change some at the service center. Can they take a $20 bill? I think so, but you need to ask them. Okay. I think I can handle it. Thank you very much. Six. Taxi service. Dialogue 1. Taxi! Get on, please. Where do you want to go? Please hurry. I'm late. I need to be at the railway station in 20 minutes. All right, miss. Take it easy. How exactly do you figure out the fare? According to the kilometer rate, the first three kilometers are $10 and every kilometer extra costs you $2. Oh, I see. Here we are, miss. Thank you. How much do I owe you? You owe me $28. That's $30. Keep the change. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Hello. Hello. Is this Taxi Service Center? 
Yes, sir. What can I do for you? I'm going to the airport tomorrow. I want to book a taxi. Okay. Can you tell me when you need it? My flight is at 10 o'clock in the morning, so I think the taxi should pick me up at 7.30. 7.30 a.m., no problem. Where can the driver find you tomorrow morning? Number 345 York Street. By the way, do I need to pay any extra for my suitcases? Yes, you are charged $1 apiece. I see. Thank you. Seven. Calling for the lost. Dialogue one. Emergency assistance. May I help you? I've just been robbed. Can you help me? Yes. Are you injured, miss? No, I'm just scared. Stay calm, miss. Can you tell me your name and where you are? My name is Emily Davis. I'm calling from Motel 23 on Pine Street. Please stay there. Our officers will meet you in less than three minutes. Thank you very much. Dialogue 2 What can I do for you, sir? I lost my backpack. Do you know when you lost it? About 20 minutes ago, I think. Can you still remember where you saw it last time? I put it down on that chair, and after I came back from the toilet, it's gone. Okay, don't worry, sir. We will take care of it. Now, could you let me know your name? Ben Scott. Your cell number, sir? 708-6356. Okay, we will let you know when we find it. Thanks a lot. Eight. Identifying lost items. Dialogue one. Can I help you? Yes. I got a call told me that you've found my suitcase. Hold on, sir. What's your name? Mike Jones. Okay, please follow me. Could you tell me what's in your suitcase? Some clothes and some important files in it as well. Oh, and my passport. Okay, Mike Jones? Yes, it's me. All right, sir. You can fill out the form and get your suitcase back now. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Dialogue 2 Did you see my purse? Excuse me, you lost your purse. Yes, it's brown. Is this your purse, miss? No, it's not. Don't worry. Can you describe your purse? I'll try to help you. It's a leather purse in brown, and there is a logo in the center of the surface. Okay, I got it. I'll let you know when we find it. Thank you very much. Nine. In the library. Dialogue one. Good morning. Morning. What can I do for you? Yes, I'm a new student here. I'd like to know how to use the library. You need your student identification to check out books. Okay. And how many books am I allowed to check out? Five books at a time. How long can I keep the books? For 42 days, including weekends. Don't pass the due day. Can I renew the books after the first 42 days? Yes, you can do it on the library website, but you can only renew once in one semester. I see. Thank you. You are welcome. Dialogue 2 Can I help you? Have you got the latest Time magazine? Yes, but it was checked out. Oh, really? I've missed it again? It's popular, you know. You want to reserve it? Yes, please. Fill out this form and we'll send you a note when we have the book back. Thank you. Ten. 
in the hospital. Dialogue 1 Come in and sit down. What's the trouble? Doctor, I have a bad cough and a sore throat. Do you have a fever? I don't know, but I feel terrible. First, let me take your temperature. Okay. Don't worry. You are just having a bad cold. Go home to bed and take one of these pills every six hours. You'll be fine soon. I got it. Thank you. Drink more water and get a good rest. I will. Thanks again. Dialogue 2 Hello, doctor. What's wrong with you? I have a backache. Do you often suffer from the backache? No, I never had one before. How long does it last for? Almost four days. Let me see. Well, go home and get some rest in bed. It's not a big deal. Can you give me some medicine? It's really painful. Okay. Take one pill a time and three times a day. If you still feel bad in four days, come back again. Thank you. Eleven. In the drugstore. Dialogue one. I'd like to buy a bottle of Centrum and two toothbrushes. Centrum? We have bottles of 30 and 50 tablets. What kind do you want? Give me two bottles of 50. And what kind of toothbrushes do you want? Can I have a look at them? Sure. I want this for two. Anything else? No, that'll be all. How much are they? Twenty dollars. Thanks. Dialogue 2 May I help you? Yes. I need to get this filled. Okay. Do you have a prescription card? Yes. Here it is. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll wait here. Okay. Twelve. Calling for an ambulance. Dialogue one. Look, that man just fell down over there. Oh, God. We need to see if he's okay. Hey, man. Are you all right? He is not responding. We need to call an ambulance. Let me dial 911. 911 here. How can I help you? There is a man passed out. May I have your location, miss? Maple Street, near the church. Okay, miss. The ambulance will be there in two minutes. Please stay there. We'll find you. All right. Please hurry. Dialogue 2 Here is 911. Can I help you? Yes, emergency. There is a huge fire here. Stay calm, sir. Could you tell me your name and location now? My name is Smith. I'm on the corner of South Street. Okay. How many people in the house, Mr. Smith? Three people. Someone had been passed out. Please send an ambulance. All right. Our men will be there in three minutes. Please come immediately. Thirteen. Visiting a patient. Dialogue 1. Betty, how are you today? I feel better. Thanks for coming. You look good. What did the doctor say? He said it was a minor operation, so I think I don't need to be worried. Yes, you will be fine soon. Did he say when you can go home? No, I should ask him later. Not in hurry. You should take some good rest. I think so. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes. Can you ring the nurse? It's time for another injection. Dialogue 2 Hey, how are you feeling today? I'm fine, thanks. I brought you some flowers. 
Thank you. Did you talk to your doctor? What did she say? She said it was not very serious. I can leave hospital next week. That's good. Is there anything I can do? I want to go to the toilet. Let me go with you. No, thanks. I can take care of myself. Okay, be careful. Fourteen. On the commencement. Dialogue one. Hello, going to the commencement? Yes, I suppose you're going there too. Sure, let's go together. Who's going to make the opening speech? The president of our college. Who's going to present the diploma? It's a secret. Have you given your graduation invitation to your friends? Yes, and I invited my parents to come as well. Dialogue two. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, you too. We should be proud of ourselves. After all these years slaving, I wouldn't miss the commencement for anything. Yes, I agree. Did you pick up your robe yet? Yes. How about you? Not yet. I'm going there now. Okay. So I'll see you there later. Sure. I'll meet you there. We definitely need to talk. Yes. See you later. See you. Fifteen. Birthday party. Dialogue one. Happy birthday! You look so beautiful tonight. Thank you. This is for you. Oh, you are so sweet. Why not open it? Sure. Oh, it's a cat. It's so cute. Don, I really don't know how to thank you. I'm glad you like it. Her name is Lily. This is really a nice name. Dialogue two. Happy birthday, Anne. Many happy returns of the day. Here's a present for you. Thank you, Peter. Come into the dining room. We're going to cut the cake soon. Okay. Who's that girl? That's Kathy. She's pretty, isn't she? She likes dancing. Go and ask her to dance. Well, I don't know. Don't be afraid. She isn't going to bite you. Who's afraid? I'm not afraid. Then come on, please. Sixteen. At the wedding ceremony. Dialogue one. Great. So you're here with Mark. I've been looking all over for you. Congratulations on your marriage, Jane. And nice to meet you, Paul. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, a grand wedding party. Have you opened the gift I gave you? Yes, thanks a lot. Hawaii is a nice place for the honeymoon. What wedding gift did she give you? Two plane tickets to Hawaii. I want to thank you as well, Mark. I love the picture. It's just what we need. I'm glad you like them. It's late. I think I'll have to go now. I'm leaving too. Let me give you a ride. Dialogue two. Here is my invitation for you. Thank you. Let me have a look. Your wedding will be held on next Friday. Yes, as you see. Congratulations. Thank you. Will you come then? Of course I will. You are my best friend. Your best friend has a request for you. What is it? Would you like to be my bridesmaid? Oh, I'm glad to. I will make good preparations for it. Seventeen. In the beauty salon. Dialogue one. How can I help you? Well, I have oily skin, and there's always small bumps here and there on my face. They are really irritating. How can I get rid of them? 
Well, I would suggest that you wash your face often. Every night you should rinse your face with lukewarm water, then pat it dry with a clean towel. Make sure you don't rub it dry. Then you apply this cream to your face. Oh, this cream? Yeah, it's pretty effective in wiping out pore clogging dirt and oil. It rids your face of dead cells and helps stimulate circulation. Dialogue 2 Do you know anyone who's had plastic surgery? You mean like breast enlargement? I don't think that's really necessary. That's not the way a woman should stay attractive. Why not? Why can't we go back to the way things were? Cause... I don't know. But Connie, you wouldn't do that, would you? Darned right I would. Maybe makeup would be enough. Come on, Liz. Be open-minded. I really hope surgery can wipe out the tired feelings. But what would other people think? I don't care what other people think. I'm ready for a lift. Eighteen. At the barber shop. Dialogue one. How would you like your hair today? The same style as usual? I have a special party to attend tonight, and I'd like to change my style. What about a perm? It sounds nice. Here are some samples of hairstyles. What do you think about this one? No, I don't like short hair. I like this one. The wave looks beautiful, and it fits my age, too. Very well. You are not in a hurry, are you? No, you can take your time. Oh, I also want a manicure while I'm having the perm. Okay. The manicurist will be right here. Thank you. How much will these two cost? It's $90 in all. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon, sir. Please sit here. A haircut and a shave, please. How would you like your haircut, sir? Short on both sides? Not so much off at the back. Okay. Do you want me to trim your beard? Yes, please. Now have a look, please. Is it all right? Well, I would like my hair cut shorter on the temples. Do you want conditioner? No, thanks. But I'd like a facial massage. Nineteen. In the gym. Dialogue one. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jack. You look very healthy. Do you often take exercise recently? Yes, I do. I go to the gymnasium twice a week. That's good for you. What do you often do at the gym? There are many apparatus, such as running machine, dumbbell, dynamic bicycle, etc. Oh, that's too much for me. I want to do some light sports. For girls, yoga, bodybuilding exercise, and dancing are good choices. That sounds interesting. I'd like to go and have a try. Don't hesitate anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for your information. You're welcome. Dialogue 2 I have been noticing you for quite a time. You look really strong, man. Thank you. I have kept taking exercise here for almost two years. Two years? That's amazing. I have only been here for two months. I don't think I can hold this on consistently and persistently. It's nothing difficult. You need to make yourself a plan at the beginning. Then just do according to it. Good idea. I also want to have strong muscle like yours. It is quite attractive. Do you have any advice? Sure. The bodybuilding apparatus are necessary for you. After exercise, you need to eat food contains carbohydrate. I will do as you said. Okay, I can't wait to see your progress. Thank you. It's very kind of you. You are welcome.